Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of the Magica Voxel Mastering Course and today we're going to be talking about the color palette. So let's jump right into it. So this color palette has a bunch of colors for you preset that you can change uh, but one thing I would like to mention to start is that this is called the color palette but it, in my opinion it should be called the material palette because it's not just colors for you to choose and paint. These little boxes here will save information about a lot of other things, not just colors. They will save material information for your renders. They will save voxel assignment information on your model and, and other properties too. So let's start going through and see what we can do with this color palette. First thing, if it's collapsed, you can open it by clicking this arrow here and you will be faced with these colors. This is the model that we did on our last episode. If you want to download it, it will be in the description of this video. So let's go from top to bottom. In here, you will notice that we have uh, four numbers and a little arrow. This arrow is just for you to write a note. You can write anything here. Cool palette, right? And that is your uh, note. You can reset the note by clicking this thing. And then we have these four numbers. These numbers will jump through other preset palettes. So we have the normal one with a lot of colors. Then we have number one, other colors. Then we have number two is a grayscale palette. And then number three is just a, a gray palette for you to create your own colors. So you can just here change uh, what the color looks and create your own palette. So something I would like you to notice is that when I jump from palette to palette, the colors of my model change. This is because these squares won't be reset. They only change colors when you change palettes, but the assignment are already set up. So this green color is what paints the model of my creeper. So if I change it here, you will see it changes. And if I go to a different palette, now it's this one, so yeah, if I change this, it also changes, and same for the gray. Even all the shaders are the same, this one is the one that we have in my, in my creeper, so if I change this again, you see that it's still being assigned. So resetting these palettes and changing them only changes the value of the colors, nothing else. No, the mat not doesn't change materials, and we, we will talk about materials in a future video, and it doesn't change anything other than color. So every voxel, even when you just created, will have one material. So I, I will call these materials from now, from now on. So you cannot create a, a voxel that doesn't have a material in Magica Voxel. So when, when I, if I create a new uh, workspace with Control N and I start creating voxels, I go to attach box mode and I start painting, it will always paint with one of these colors and specifically the one that is selected. So you always will have one of these materials attached to your voxels. You can make changes to, this, to these palettes. So you could uh, change your colors, tweak them however you want. And then if you don't want them to be lost when you reset or when you open Magica Voxel again, you have the option to save your palette. So once you're finished changing and updating it, you can just click this floppy disk icon and that will allow you to save this palette. You, say, you see that in here we have palette 0, 1, 2 and 3 and this is what Magica Voxel is picking up. It's on the Magica Voxel folder where you extracted Magica Voxel. You will have these four files. So you could either replace one of these files if you wanted to have your palette every time that Magica Voxel opens or just save uh, your custom palette there or wherever you want to save it and then you can just go open palette with this button here and just open it and that palette will be uh, loaded. So I can just, just so you see, I will just change all of these colors. I will save this as custom palette, yes. And now if I reset, I lost that change, but if I can just open it back and I will get them again. I will reset it now. I'm gonna press one and then gonna go back to zero. So let's say you have this model and you don't know which color is applied. You have two ways to select your color. One is, just by pressing Alt and holding and left clicking with your mouse, that will select the color that is applied to the voxel that you clicked. So if I click on the black voxel, for instance, it will just select this black material instead. Other way is 
if you go into your model and you use the pick voxel color material in my opinion but it says voxel color you click it and then again it just goes to that one and otherwise this one great so what i will do now just to have less of a confusing uh, place to work i will just create my own palette i will go to number three which is this all gray palette and i will pick the color that is applied right now and i uh, that way i know that is this one so i will just make a green color here for my creeper and then i know that the other one is this one but just to be sure i will just click on my picker again click on the color and i will paint it black so now we just reproduce uh, this model's colors with the two materials that we had applied we only have these ones so i will start showing you some tricks that you can do here to manage a bit these materials so if you look on the bottom middle you will see that you have some quick tips and shortcuts for you to work with the palette so you have control to swap you can also copy, pick, or make a gradient. So let's do all of those. The first one is swap. So what swap does is when you press control and you click on this color and you drag, you can move it away and place it wherever you want. The good thing about the swap option is that this will keep the color and what voxels is this material applied to, and it will keep the material properties that we will look in a future video. So this means that now if I change the material here you will see that it still works even though originally was this one it's no longer attached to this model good so this is a good way if you have a bit of a messy palette you can just press ctrl and start organizing your colors again so they are not all mixed up then you can also copy the colors so you can ctrl shift then click with your left mouse button and drag and this will make a duplicate of the color of the material it won't create a duplicate of what is it applied and it won't create a duplicate of the material properties just the colors that are stored here where it says color that you can just open and close like that the next thing it will be to create a gradient so let's talk for a second about this part of the palette is very important so let's go to the to the first line here i will just click on the last one this one is like a locked uh, material I don't really know the reason why this one cannot be used but it's like that in this version at least so I will click the next one available which is this one and then I will change the color here so basically in here you have hue saturation and value so by moving these slides you can just get all the different colors to paint your model so what I will do is just make another green color just a bit more vibrant and a bit more light more value on it once that's done i can create a gradient by pressing ctrl alt and then dragging with my left mouse button from one color to the other and this will complete in between all of the colors to get from one to the other and this also works with different colors if this was blue and i do that again ctrl alt left click and drag you will make from the green to the blue i just created so i will just undo that ctrl z and I have a, a gradient of greens to apply to our model and also have a black color that was originally made. So we can maybe also make a bit of variant uh, for this black color. So let's uh, first duplicate it by pressing Ctrl, Shift and drag. I will just make less variations in this case. And I will just make this slightly lighter. And then I will create the gradient with Ctrl, Alt, click and drag. If you want your gradient to be more exaggerated, to have more, vari uh, more variety between the colors, you can just always change a bit your last one and recreate the gradient. Control Alt, click, left click and drag, and that will exaggerate the colors. Good. Now that we have a bunch of colors, it would be great to apply this in a random manner because you, you know that the creepers have like these different colored voxels all over them so what i will do is just go into one of the pieces of my model i will go in and then i will select all of the colors that i want to apply by clicking and dragging my selection with the left click i can just select several and then i will select the colors 
select the voxels that I want to apply these materials to. So in this case are these green colors. And then I will go back to my palette and I will go right click, randomize. This will basically apply random voxels to all my selection. So now that this is done, we could still change our colors and, and they will still be applied. So if we said, for instance, maybe there is too many light uh, voxels. So maybe I can do, I can make this a bit darker and then just create my, my gradient again, control alt, left click and drag. And now everything becomes a bit more homogeneous. So maybe I can do it again. So you can just continue to tweak your model after you applied these colors. Now let's do the same for the black voxels. So let's select them first. Then let's select all of our colors that are dark and then right click randomize. Good, so we see we have a lot of clear voxels. So I think our last one needs to be much darker. And let's recreate our gradient, maybe more. So you can continue to tweak until you are happy with your results. So you see it's very subtle, but there is that variation. So let's do the same for the rest of the model. Select, select the colors, right click, randomize. And again, for each one of the legs. If you have parts of your model that are just one color that you want to randomly randomize completely, you can just go in and click, right click, randomize, and you don't really need to select the parts to do that. So right click, randomize, right click, randomize. Nice. So next, I will just paint the nails of this creeper because they have some uh, black box voxels here so I will just go there and paint this one as well and these other two legs good so that gives us this pretty randomized uh, creeper that it looks much more like what it does in the game amazing so now let's talk a bit more about this part of the palette there is some some more things to talk about if you see here says HSV which stands for hue saturation and value but if you click that, you can change to RGB, which stands for red, green, and blue. So you can also get any color here by changing, <laughs> looks funny on the eyes, by changing this instead of the HSV. So it will depend on what you're more comfortable working with. It's pretty much the same. Furthermore, if you click on the different colors, you will see that down here, you get three number values. These are RGB, values so that's why you can see it here uh, these three numbers don't represent the hue saturation and value but the rgb values right good so you have these two arrows that if you click them you will see a different code here this is the hexadecimal value of the color so this number the, the good thing is that is this is a very universal across softwares uh, kind of code tag for each color so if you used something like Adobe colors that we have in here you can just uh, see that we have these codes here so this is the same that the code that we were just seeing in Magica Voxel so you could very well copy this code go to Magica Voxel and once you enable this you paste it there Control V and when you press enter you get that exact color that you had here. So there are other ways to steal colors. For instance, you could select uh, an empty material or a material with a, that you are not using and you can just hold out, you click it. And when you start dragging your, your selection, you will see that the edge around this uh, material is changing all the time. So basically it's picking up colors that your mouse are hovering over. So you can steal any color that you see on your screen and you could even steal colors from outside your screen and this is a very interesting trick for instance you wanted this color you could just alt left mouse button click and drag and go over the color you want to steal and you can steal colors from outside magica voxel 2 and if we see here when i check the code you see that it's the same that we were seeing here so i just took exactly the color of this box so I will save this palette to show you something I will save this as creeper colored 
and now I will go back to this palette just to show you some other options that we have here in the color palette. So if you right click, you will see that you have a bunch of options here. So if you sort, what it will do is change the position of each color by their value on the hue. So you see that it, if I click and I go moving around, you will see that it orders basically by the position here on this, on this side. So you see that as I, go, as I go down, the position goes more and more to the left. And that's what the sort button does, which just organizes colors on that manner. If you need that, then that's great. And something that is important to understand is that when it sorts, it, you don't lose the, the assignment of the material. So the material will be moved somewhere else, but it will still be assigned to the original voxels. So the only, the only problem with this that is important to notice is that now these materials are rearranged. So if I go back to my palette and open it, it will be broken because when we sorted the colors, this color that it used to be here now is here and etc. So be careful with that option uh, if you're working with multiple palettes because it will just rearrange the assignment of your voxels. So to fix that, I will just open my saved version of this creeper. And here we have it. And let's continue to see other options. We have the option that says mask. And you see how it basically selects a bunch of materials. These are the materials that are not being used on your model at the moment. So that's what this option does. Masks and used materials. You could, for instance, just mask all the unused materials, then right click again and you click this button that says inverse color selection and it will select now all the other materials, which in this case are the ones that you have used so far. If you wanted to change all of them, if you want this creeper to be one color, you can just change all of them at the same time. Nice. To cover everything on the color palette, I will just go in now and I will select a bunch of colors, this, this and that one just randomly selected some. So I wanted to know which one are these voxels in the palette, but I don't want to go one by one. So what you can do is select them and then right click and click on this flag that says flag selected voxel colors. If you click that, it will highlight with a little dot in the middle, all of the materials that you have selected at the moment. Other than that, you can just uh, make this voxel selection by color that will do the opposite. You will just select the voxels that have these materials applied. So for instance, I want to select all that is green. Instead of going here and go one, two, three, four, I just select all my materials and then right click and then use this option in the middle. And then that will select everything. Great. So just last uh, couple of things, you can drag a selection and then you can hold shift and continue to select other materials that you wanted to have uh, selected for whatever reason and then you can press shift alt to deselect them uh, back here we missed only the show sv block this all what it does is instead of having two separate bars to work here you have one more like in photoshop or other software just to make things more uh, like things that you might be used to. And then lastly, this option here, if you click it, it will show the values of the HSV because in here, remember you see the RGB values. So here you will see the hue saturation values and you can just use these little uh, arrows to move up and down if you want to do that instead of like clicking and dragging here. So that's an in-depth view to the color palette or the material palette as I like to call it and we're gonna talk about material properties on a future video when we talk about rendering on our next video we're gonna talk about the outliner that I mentioned on our previous one so stay tuned for that click on the subscribe button and click on the bell so you don't miss the future video see you there